This is what's going on for the housing market here in Colorado Springs. Overall, housing inventory is still low. It's been low for a while. We are currently at 1,445 properties available for sale in Colorado Springs. That's single family townhomes, patio homes, and condos. There are 1,009 properties that are currently under contract, and uh, I believe there's almost 400 sales uh, in August so far. It's just a uh, low like I said inventory month but it's been that way for a majority of the well all of this year and then um, up through uh, up to June uh, and July of last year is when inventory started to come down so it's a lot more expensive uh, and that's why uh, uh, inventory is low is because sellers do not want to go anywhere they don't have the uh, means to purchase property right now and leave their two three four percent interest rate and go sell somewhere uh, or go buy somewhere else and where they have to have a seven percent interest rate uh, it just doesn't work out and let you know maybe you go and move to another state where uh, the cost of living is cheaper but otherwise it's very difficult to be able to sell and then buy in uh, the same market here. Uh, just give you an example, a $500,000 house at 3% down with a 7% interest rate, including taxes and insurance, your monthly payment is going to be about $4,100 a month. And so that's just very much, you know, for a lot of people. So as I've calculated it, you need to be, if you want to purchase a $500,000 house here with those terms, you need to be making at least $150,000 per year to comfortably do that uh, household. And if you're not, it's going to be a lot more difficult to purchase property here. Uh, it's just the the way I had a neighbor who uh, called it gentrification of the city. You know, he's just expecting in the next five, 10 years, that's kind of how it goes, that it's just going to be a gentrified city. And I, I told them, well, you know, according to her, the definition of gentrified, uh, basically, yeah, it's just uh, re, uh, remodeling buildings uh, to, you know, a better state or a more expensive state, building more expensive housing, um, uh, basically pricing out the people who already live in that neighborhood so they can no longer afford to live there. And I said, yeah, that seems to be what happens when a city builds up and starts replacing old stuff. The average sales price here in Colorado Springs is about 527,000, median sales price about 450,000. We had our high point in home prices in July, uh, well actually in June. July they came down for a little bit and now August they look to have come back up. So this looks like this may be the second high point for the year. It's what I typically see is two high points and two low points. So I'm expecting from here on out home prices to start going down a bit. Uh, take a seasonal dip for the winter and then come back up. You see different economists predicting that home prices are going to crash or they're just going to soar up next year. And I'm like, nobody knows what they're talking about. You know, you look at like Elon Musk has like, I don't care. Like <laughs> He doesn't have anything to do with real estate. He has no idea. Uh, so, you know, just take it with a grain of salt uh, who you're listening to. But, you know, overall, the the market in Colorado Springs is just low because there's few buyers who can afford to purchase uh, property that's this expensive with this interest rate. And so that the people who are left are just people who can afford it. Homes have been on market for 27 days on average and 11 days on the median. Properties are typically getting about 100% of what they're asking for. Uh, occasionally you run into a multiple offer and sometimes you get properties that uh, they do price drops because they were priced too high from the get-go. But if you priced appropriately, you'll sell pretty quickly. Get the home move-in ready. Just make it move-in ready because majority of buyers want something that's move-in ready. That increases your odds of uh, your house going for uh, more than what you're asking for, or you know, at least putting yourself in the best position. 
If you have questions about the Colorado Springs area or if you are looking to buy or sell property here, reach out to me. My name is Kevin James Bond. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Colorado. And I work primarily in the Colorado Springs area, but I occasionally go up to Denver and down to Pueblo as well. So I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.